Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and this is the 1954 Transporter. Now, this truck is obviously fully console-friendly, but as of recording this video, it is only on PC at the moment, as it still needs to go through the testing process and be approved. And when it does get approved, I will put a pinned comment down below to let you guys know that it has been approved. Now, this is the 8x8 version, and the difference between the 8x8 version and the 6x6 version is the 8x8 version obviously has a lift axle, which you can actuate in the advanced functions menu. Now, we are going to be primarily focusing on the 8x8 variant in this particular video. However, both the 6x6 and the 8x8 variants are included when you download this mod. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take it back into the garage, do a build on it, and then we're going to get it out here once again, grab a trailer, and haul a... Hmm, haul a very special, well, we, we won't like spoil that just yet, but we're going to haul a very special truck out to the mud pits slash monster truck area on this map. So, and the map that we are on today is Lime's Mud Park for this test. So let's go ahead and head back into the garage and we'll begin the build process. Now, when you go into the garage, your balanced engine is going to have you sitting at an A minus power to weight ratio. Now your, or I should say power to weight rating, not ratio, but your logging tune is going to take you up to an S plus and so is your upgraded, but I believe, and I can be corrected in the comments if I'm wrong on this, but I believe I'm correct in saying that logging gets you a lot more, or at least the logging tune gets you a lot more torque. So we're going to go with the logging tune and gearbox wise, you have balanced highway logging and off road. Now. The logging gearbox, once again, will prioritize that low-end power, whereas if you use the logging engine with the highway transmission, it's going to be very fast. Now, since we're on a primarily flat map today, we're going to be using the highway box, but if you were on a map with a lot of hills, I would definitely recommend the logging box. Now, suspension-wise, you have stock, high lift, lifted and scout style now scout style is going to be if you are basically the type of person that likes to take your semi truck out on the trails in the middle of nowhere and uh find watch points on maps with it and there's nothing wrong with that type of play style uh, a good buddy of mine literally plays through the game like that with trucks like this but we're gonna go with the high lift and as far as tires go you have a couple different options you have the 46 inch studded generic off-road tire the 46 inch generic off-road tire which is actually a little bit different that's a little bit more of like an ANK style tire. And then you have the BFG MT. We're going to go with the BFG MT because I really like the, uh, I really like the wheels that come with this thing. And to be honest, I actually also really like the spiked lugs. I know some people think spiked lugs are a little cheesy, but I think they really fit the style of this particular truck. And I think they fit the style of the build that he was going for. So winch wise, you get one option and that's it. I mean, literally that's about it. But frame add-ons is where it gets very interesting because you have a ton. You could literally use this truck for anything you wanted. So you've got the PC320 heavy crane, log carrier front, log loader crane, flatbed van body, and uh, the maintenance frame add-on, metal detector module, seismic vibrator module, uh, sideboard bed, fuel tank, custom sideboard, which flips the camera around, but it's basically a sideboard that is unique to this truck, and you guys may be able to kind of see it uh, in the back there. It's pretty much, once again, like I said, a matching sideboard for this particular truck. I'll go ahead and back out so you guys can see it a little bit better. I'll go to the color area so you guys can see that bed a little bit better, uh, but once again, it's pretty much a matching sideboard for this particular truck, but now we're going to go ahead and go back down and disconnect the custom sideboard. You can also do a visor, which I think looks really cool. You could do a weighted bumper, which we're definitely going to do. IM50 loading crane, which is definitely going to be useful if you're using this truck in campaign mode. Then, of course, you have saddle high and saddle low. We're going to go with saddle high and an IM50 loading crane. And I love this, like, stretched frame look that you get with this truck. So now we're going to go to the wheels. And with this tire type, you're pretty much only going to get one wheel option. But that's completely fine with me. Colors-wise, you have this sort of faded camo look that it comes with right off the bat. I switched it over to kind of a deep red, but there's multiple shades of red that you can go with, and they both look really, really good. I think it also looks really good in green. I think the green suits it very nicely, but I also think it looks good in this sort of like dark gray, battleship gray type look. It actually looks very, very, very mean in that, in that particular paint color, so I really do like that, and I think you could definitely have a really nice setup. Uh, with that particular color, but let's see about going, I think we're going to stick with the red, and then also, literally, you have two buttons over there on the right of the dash, send it, and that's about it, so we're going to go ahead and throw beans right there on the dash, and now we're going to go ahead and get outside the garage and grab our trailer, 
Now, the trailer that we're going to be using is going to be, of course, the... Well, I was about to say 8-unit Super Heavy, but the problem with the 8-unit Super Heavy is it might not be able to fit the truck that we're looking for. So, we're going to go ahead and... Whoa, easy there. Silly me forgot to turn on Frog's trailer pack, and uh, yeah, when you get into the trailer store and you don't have that pack on, it makes it a little bit difficult to find the trailer that you want. So, now let's go back into the trailer store, and let's grab the extendable hauler, so, or the transporter extension, let's call it. Now, it says saddle low is required but cannot be installed. That's very easily fixed. Let's go ahead and head down to... Saddle high, take it off, and saddle low, put it on. So, really easy fix there. Get it done and out of the way. And what's really cool about this trailer is the fact that it can do something that pretty much no other trailer can do right now. Now, I'm actually going to lower it down to the default suspension so it's just a little bit less, uh, a little bit less of an angle on the trailer. And what we can actually do, and this is just like, this is so wild, is that as long as the truck is on, you can basically widen the entire trailer. Then you can put the ramps down. And what that does is it perfectly prepares this truck to haul exactly the, the rig that you guys may have in your heads already. So we're going to go ahead and shut this thing off one more time. And now we're going to head back into the garage, truck store, and you guys probably already know that we're going to go ahead and haul Monster Max 2. I was kind of going back and forth in my head about whether I wanted to do this or the giant second gen. And I definitely thought that it was a little bit more fitting to haul Monster Max 2. Hey, we remember to have the engine in the back. That's legit. Because when I was playing multiplayer with my buddy Diesel Addict, he actually ended up, or we both ended up forgetting to put the spare engine in the back while we were playing with this thing in a campaign map. And that's where all the repair points are, basically. So, we pretty much made it to where we could not repair the thing out in the wilderness. Oh my god, that did not want to turn very well. I was like, ah, no! I did not want to go into the, into the light pole. That was not part of the plan. Can you imagine seeing this setup coming down the road? Like, legit, freaking, you know, triple, triple rear axle with Monster Max 2 on the back. I would literally just be having a moment on the highway. I'd be like, uh, what the heck is that? And I, like, driving this in this game right now is pretty much as close as your... Oh, God! Yep. And as if by magic, somehow we are all good again. Don't worry about it. That's all I'm going to say. Do not worry about it one bit. Everything is fine. Everything is good. And we are on our way back to the mud pit that we were actually originally intending to go to. And originally, I wanted to turn left and go to the monster truck area. But I was like, you know what? I haven't been this way in quite a while. So I was like, yeah, we're going to go ahead and head down this way. And can I just say, I love how the stacks are like twice as tall as the roof of the truck. That's such a, like, old-school, hot-rod, semi-truck touch, and I really, really like how he included that. All right, let's go ahead and get ready for this right-hand turn. I'm gonna have to set up very, very, very... Er Stop understeering. Oh, my God! That was... That was a little nerve-wracking, I've gotta say. I might have to go up a couple of suspension heights because I don't know if I'm gonna make it over some of these hilltops up here. Because these hilltops are pretty gnarly, and they're not, like, they're not something that I would just mess with, you know what I mean? Now, I will say, though, having that lift axle makes it a lot better. See, that one was fine. That one was, oh, jeez. I got my stacks caught on a tree, and I also got Monster Max 2 caught on a tree, so... I would recommend avoiding low trees, and definitely recommend avoiding low bridges. Low bridges are not this truck's friend in any way, shape, or form. Not in any way, shape, or form whatsoever. Now go ahead and let me know in the comments down below what you would use this truck for, and really if you would plan on using it at all, uh, if and when it does make it to consoles. Because it should, I, I believe, at some point, especially if we are, you know, if we're going off of the fact that the fourth gen made it back to consoles, I don't see any reason why this truck wouldn't make its way what the heck why did it tip that much what did we get it caught on i think we just probably swung the trailer too hard and the weight of monster max 2 just literally had like a pendulum effect and swung the entire setup sideways i love how monster max 2 has taken visual damage while only being on the trailer like there's literally nothing we have done we haven't even driven it and it's taken some visual damage Oh, we haven't been over there in a while, but we also haven't been over... Mmm. Decisions, decisions. 
Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I know exactly where we're going. I know exactly. Not only do I know exactly where we're going, but I know exactly what we are launching Monster Max 2 into. Oh yeah, you guys are gonna you guys are gonna know exactly where we're going like just before we get there because obviously we've been there on stream and we've been there a few times with Diesel Addict, of course. And I'm gonna go ahead and head through the town because we never haul through the town up here. We literally never ever haul through the town. And I think the town area on this map is like Honestly, it's super weird that nobody ever goes through it, but, well, maybe, maybe other people do. I don't, but I think that that's just, it's not even that I don't want to, it's that, like, I literally never go through it. So let's go ahead and make this right real quick. Yo, if we needed fuel, we could just stop right there and grab some. Although the thing is, this thing, I mean, yeah, we're not gonna need fuel. It's chill. I mean, it's, it's good to go. It's chill. It does not need it right now. God, it's such a great setup to look at, too. And I love the intakes on the sides. Like, oh my god. Visually, it's just... And I know that I said this before in the video, but visually, this truck is just so incredibly pleasing. So incredibly freaking pleasing. Now, you thought that when we got here, we were going to unload Monster Max 2 and take it through the mud. We are, but not just yet. No, not just yet. We're going for the high lift. We're going for the high lift, and then... We're putting that lift axle down, and we're taking our entire setup into the mud. In three, two, one, let's go. Sending it. Dude, we just literally, like, torqued the truck up enough to, like, pull the front axle off the ground for a minute. That's great. Well, that was short-lived. Um, that was not exactly how I... Oh, hang on a minute. Whoa. Whoa, that's wild. Bro, the fact that it's even, like, walking itself through here, even at a super low speed, is incredible. Most trucks would literally have already sank by now. Holy smokes, if this thing actually makes it all the way through this mud pit, I'm going to be properly amazed. And it looks like I'm going to end up being properly amazed, because look at it! Look what it's freaking doing! Let's make our way down through... Dude, for a minute there, we would have been totally just plowing the mud with our bumper... Not exactly the greatest thing to be doing, but go ahead and pull it on out of the mud, and she is good to go. Dude, that is freaking legit. Oh my god, I've never done that with a semi-truck in this game before. That is wild. Okay, hold on. We're gonna start it back up real quick, put the ramps down, and then shut it off. Because every single time, I literally, I've been playing this game for so long, and every single time... I'm like, shut the truck off, and then I have to turn it back on again to lower the ramps. Because literally, like, internally, my mind is still like, you should not need to have the freaking, you know, engine running to put your ramps down. But, speaking of ramps, we're gonna use the trailer ramps as a different type of ramp, and let's see how far we can actually make it. Oh! Well, not, not as far as I had hoped. Not as far as I had hoped we would make it at all. Literally not as far as I hoped we would make it at all. But I've got to say, the fact that we're out here now in Monster Max 2, we've got to do at least one send, right? At least one proper send. So let's see. We're going to go ahead and put it in neutral and then line it up so we can dump the clutch in three, two, one, go! Full send. Oh, God. Actually, I was kind of worried about it because... I did not want to be landing on two wheels and then bouncing back the other direction. But thankfully, I think we're good to go. We've been pretty much good to go. But I want to, I want to try that jump one more time because that was not a satisfactory send. Not at all. Oh, jeez. That was not at all a satisfactory send. And I think this thing is, once again, like, it's so wide that once you get it rolling over, unless you're really, really lucky or you're in a really good position, it is not going to roll itself back over. Simply because of the fact that it is just so wide. Alright, let's see if this actually flips it, like, flips it back over on itself. Yo, that was perfect! Go ahead and modulate the throttle, see if I can get it. Yes! It actually picked back up again really, really well. Look! <laughs> Dude, it literally was like just hanging out on two wheels for a second there. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time.